Parts of southeast Texas were pummeled by Laura's Category 4 winds, one of the hardest hit areas, the city of Orange, just east of Beaumont. This afternoon, hundreds are without power, and the weather is not cooperating for many looking to start uh, the repairs there. Channel 2's Brittany Jeffers has the latest now from Orange. The weather certainly has not helped out this morning. We've had rain on and off, but folks are going to have a long road ahead of them as far as cleanup as concerned. You can see this is just one of dozens of uprooted trees in the area. There's also down power lines and toppled over fences. People also told me that getting fuel was a priority today. The line at the pump started at dawn. Dozens refueling, filling gas cans and getting supplies. After surveying the damage left behind by hurricane winds, the gas station along I-10 was Sandra Abair's first stop this morning. Evacuated to Houston, and when we come back, our yard is just demolished. We have a lot of poles down, a lot of trees down on the roads. We have no gas. We have, you know, everything is shut down. Nathan Jenkins was also in line. I woke up here about 6 o'clock this morning, went and got me a generator. Um, getting gas, fixing to go inside and get some oil for it so we can have some power so the uh, refrigerator will work so I don't lose all the food that we have. Jenkins' fence was demolished and he said he's left with a mess of debris to deal with. And then the rain started. While Louisiana suffered the brunt of the hurricane, in Texas, Orange also took a devastating hit. Up and down the street, you can see the destruction. Rain soaking toppled fences, down power lines and tree limbs. A mess left by Laura will still be waiting for the community when the rain clears. I feel really bad for them. I've been praying for all of them. Many homes in the area still don't have power, but we have seen crews out here working all morning to try to restore it. Here in Orange, I'm Brittany Jeffers, KPRC Channel 2 News.